Hey, it's Matt Brown, and we're going to look at Muzzle this time around. So this song has a pretty cool tuning. Uh, we're going to tune everything down a half step, and then tune the second string down after that an additional full step. So what that does is gives you the root note, the A note uh, there. I mean, it's actually an A flat since we're tuned down. But anyway, uh, so you have this, this ringing root note on the second string that, that goes throughout the chords and almost all the song. Okay, so let's look at these chords. I'm just going to call these off as though we're, we're in standard tuning. So, first chord is an A5. So that's a fifth string root, and we have open, two, two, open, open. Alright, the next chord is a G5 add 9. Uh, or sorry, it's just a G add 9. So it's three, two, open, 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 nothing on the first string. Uh, and then the next chord is a, uh, let's see what this one is. So it'll give you a B minor 11 in this tuning. So uh, that's fifth string root, two, open, two, open, open. Okay, so let's, let's check out the rhythm now to this. So with the A5 chord, beat one, we're doing a quarter note. Beat two, we have a dotted eighth to a sixteenth note. Beat three, a quarter note. Beat four, an eighth, and then uh, two sixteenths. Those two sixteenths, you're strumming the fifth, fourth, and third strings open as like a transitional thing. All right, second measure, we're going to that G chord. Beat one, we're just doing it for uh, a quarter note. And then B2, we're going to do an A followed by two sixteenths. Kind of like before, we're going to do the strum of the chord. And then some open strings on the sixteenth notes as a transition. Then um, we're going to change to the B minor 11 chord on uh, B3. And then uh, B4, we're going to do an eighth and two sixteenths. Uh, B4, we're just going to do the strum of the chord. And then what we're going to do on the last two sixteenth notes is kind of go back to our A5 chord and, and strum a little like the lower bits of that. And then that repeats again. So the whole thing. All right, so that happens twice. And then what happens is uh, your, your overdubbed guitar comes in and plays the exact same thing over top. Uh, which is, you know, probably uh, you know, a, a thicker sounding tone, so probably a Les Paul overdub. All right, so uh, let's check out the next part to the song. I'm going to call it the pre-chorus. <laughs> There's the pre-chorus. Let's go through the chords. Um, we have a D sus two as our first chord, so that's fourth string root. Open two five open. And as a word of advice or caution, this is a really easy chord to play out of tune. So don't play with any more pressure than you have to, and it should sound in tune. All right, the next chord is a B seven sus four. So basically what you're doing is a B5 power chord shape, three string type deal, and then the open uh, second and first strings are, they're open. Okay, uh, next chord is an E. In this tuning though, um, the E we have to add a finger, so we're adding the pinky to the second fret of the second string. And the last chord is our A chord. So the, the rhythms you're playing are very similar to the verse part, and uh, I'll, I'll just play it again so you get a feel for that. Okay, uh, let's check out the chorus part. The chorus sounds like this. All right, so uh, it's real simple. We're going to do a G chord. The, the G add 9 type deal that we've been doing all along. 
Um, then we're going to go to the B minor 11. Um, and then we're going to do the A5 for a measure. So we get this da 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 rhythm for the the chorus. Let's do it again. So as a, a like a final um, transitional thing, the last time you play the riff, instead of going to the A5 chord, you go to the D uh, sus2 at the, the end of it. All right, so um, what we have next is another first part. Um, and the, the main guitar part is the same as what we had before. Um, there's, there's kind of like this little um, type uh, overdubbed part that the like the Les Paul type track is playing like this. Okay, so that's what it is. Um, pretty much you're, you're playing like just little licks. Um, so open first string, four, and on your second string, then two to open with the pull off on the second string there. Um, then you're gonna do like, uh, arpeggiate the G at nine. Do a little pull off two to open on the second string to an open fifth string, and then arpeggiate the the B minor eleven chord. Then for the the next time you're kicking in where he says time heals, blah blah blah. Um, you're just playing the riff like you normally would. Okay. Um, the pre-chorus that we're gonna have. Uh, the next one is the same, but we're, we're going to have two overdubbed guitar tracks that are doing some like Smashing pumpkin e type like counter melody lead lines that, you know, he, he frequently does. Alright, so let's look at that. Alright, so that's the, the lower guitar part. The other part is playing this up an octave. So what we're doing is playing in fifth position to start with. So that's the first part, fifth fret, then seven, five, four, with the pull off and the slide, like that. Uh, then we have this. So you're bending that uh, fourth fret up a uh, half step and back down, and then doing uh, some attacks on your low A note. So all together. So the higher part would be this. So he's, he's sliding back to, to get the A at the, the second fret instead of playing it on the, uh, the fourth string. So he's just doing that for a different tone. All right, so let's see what happens next. So uh, with this pre-chorus, um, where the, the rhythm guitar changes to the uh, there, pretty much the difference that we're going to have with these overdub tracks is that um, we're going to have uh, an E note there. So the one track is playing the low E string and the other one is doing the, the E note on the fourth string. Okay, so what we're going to look at next, um, we have uh, a bunch of repeated stuff and then um, the next part I'm gonna call the bridge um, and this is uh, you know kind of the part where there's some lead stuff and he's singing in my mind as I was floating far above the clouds blah 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 all right so we're gonna look at that part next <laughs> the rhythm part. Um, what we're doing with the chords, we're doing our D sus2 chord that we had before, the B7 sus4, the A5, then we're doing a split measure of the G add 9 to B minor 11, then we're doing a measure of the D sus2 to B7, and then we're strumming the A chord um, and holding it out. So uh, 
not, you know, the, the rhythms aren't too different from the previous rhythms that we've had the rest of this song. So again, to, to get the rhythm. Let's uh, check out um, the, the overdub lead stuff uh, underneath. <laughs> basically switch to the neck pickup, threw on some, some uh, overdrive and that would be good enough for a different tone. Uh, so first bar, just going up a D major scale, um, so 7, 9, 11. The next little idea, so that's bending up a half step and letting it come down. And then we're doing 9. Sliding up to 14. So doing a slide from 14 to 16, and then doing uh, sliding out from the 16th fret. Then we're going to do that thing at the beginning again. All right. So and then we're just ending with the A chord. So uh, maybe switch to a different pickup for the other guitar part, and let's uh, see that. this thing up and check out the final parts. Okay, I'm going to call this next part the interlude. It goes like this. So we're just doing the G add 9 for two beats, the B minor 11 for two beats, then a full measure of A. Um, so yeah, that, that repeats for a while. What happens though um, at the the end um, before we go into what I'm going to call the the next pre-chorus is instead of playing the A uh, chord for um, just one measure, we're going to do it for two measures, and we're going to do it along with the snare drum thing that Jimmy Chamberlain's doing. So that sounds like. <laughs> Then we're going to go to um, a pre-chorus, and to uh, start off, we're going to have this. Um. So that's the D sus 2 to the B7 thing, uh, B7 sus 4 to the A5. Over top of that, the lead guitars are doing... That's one guitar. I don't imagine you need a detailed breakdown of that. Uh, the other part is, for the most part, playing that in octave lower. So. So not doing chords at the end, just a single note. Um, the last time, though, before we go to uh, the next part of the song, though, um, the, the, the part playing the lower octave cuts out, so you're just going to hear this. Alright, so let's go and check out the next part of the song. So I'm going to play the rhythm guitar from the, uh, I'm going to call this the outro chorus, from the start of this to the end of the song. So here we go.
So what we have is just the G at 9, B minor, 11th thing to A5, a whole lot of times. Um, then the last time that we do it, we go to the E chord instead of the A5, and we're just strumming 16th notes for the whole measure, along with the drums. Then we do the G at 9. This time we're just going to hold out that B minor 11, and there's a fermata, um, so hold it as long as you want. And then an A5 with a fermata, and then a final bam, strum of the chord. Um, all right, so two guitars are doing that, and then uh, let's check out the the lead part. <laughs> So that's the, the first lead part that comes in. We're just playing two notes, really. Um, just sliding back and forth between an A and a B note on your third string, giving some vibrato. Um, what he does is kind of like a Kurt Cobain type of thing, is he just keeps sliding the, the middle finger up the scale. Um, and so we get... So all you're doing is you're sliding your way up your A major scale. So um, just maybe map out where your A major scale notes are across the third string. The last little lick is uh, this. So you're doing a, a pre-bend and release on the 17th fret for a full step. Then pulling the 14th fret. Then doing a pull out from 17 to 15. 16 on the third string, and you're sliding from 15 to 14 there on the second string. I'm just playing an A5 power chord three strings on the fifth string root here uh, to close out the song. All right, so uh, that does it for this. Uh, email me if you want the tabs. Um, got plenty more from Melancholy. I'm Matt Brown, and I will see you guys around. Thanks.